Good morning, everybody, and welcome. I'm MSU Denver President Janine Davidson, and I am absolutely thrilled to be up here with all of you fabulous people on this gorgeous September day. We are here to celebrate a new learning space that will dramatically improve MSU Denver's ability to meet the needs of the healthcare industry in the state of Colorado. In line with that, we are also announcing a truly transformational gift from Don Bookhart. Our state faces a tremendous healthcare worker workforce shortage. There are literally not enough providers to treat our patients. And right now it is a lack of space that is limiting our ability to train the healthcare workers that this great state needs. But together we are tackling this huge problem. In that building over there, we're opening a state-of-the-art simulation and skills lab. The facility will enable our nursing students to practice the clinical skills in simulated hospital and exam rooms. Generous gifts from private donors are also helping to build what is needed for the future of healthcare in Colorado. And today we are announcing this transformational gift from Don Bookhart, chair of the MSU Denver Foundation's Board of Trustees. Don has pledged $1 million to the project. You want to know why I give to MSU? There are many, many reasons, and they only gave me three minutes. So here goes. This is a space that respects every student's desire to succeed a space where every student is deserving of the opportunity to pursue their dreams, where students seeking upward social and economic mobility can thrive. MSU offers a high quality education that prepares a student for the real world of work. It educates more Coloradans than any other public institution in the state, yet we still receive the least amount of state funding per student. Boom. Last year, I was fortunate enough to receive a scholarship from Dawn and to say that it has significantly mitigated the financial stressors that come with attaining a graduate education is an understatement. So thank you so much for that, Dawn. As a first generation student and as the eldest daughter of immigrants from the Philippines, I have always felt the incredible weight of having to navigate systems for myself and for my family. I'm so fortunate to be a part of a program that puts diversity, community, and inclusivity at the forefront of its mission. Will you please raise a glass to our friend, our mentor, our heroine, Dawn Bookhart. Join me in thanking her for her leadership at every level to Dawn Bookhart, leader and fashionista extraordinaire. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you.